intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the Gears and Tool channel. My name is Adam, your friendly Sasquatch, and today we are going to be testing the Leatherman bit adapter, specifically the cup, to see how many foot-pounds of torque it takes to destroy it. And uh, this kind of all started with a little mini-series I had going on YouTube um, over the last couple of weeks, where first I introduced the Leatherman ratchet, which is a new product, and then uh, you guys were kind of asking how tough the ratchet was, so I went ahead and destroyed it, and it broke the tab off at 300 inch-pounds. And then that naturally led to the question of, uh, does it even matter? So we took our Leatherman Wave, clamped it in a bench vise, and broke the bit adapter on it. And that took about 220 inch pounds. And then, of course, since I didn't break everything, you guys are now asking what it takes to break the Leatherman bit adapter. So that's what this video is about. Um, the Leatherman adapter portion of this bit adapter is already damaged, but we are going to put this in the bench vise and snap that off. It will be somewhere between 250 and 300 inch pounds, probably, just like this one. And then, once we break that off, we're going to clamp this in the bench vise kind of like this and test the actual cup. So I'm kind of curious to see how many foot pounds the actual cup of the bit adapter will be able to handle. Uh, if you have a guess, throw it in the comments below. I'm thinking around 50 foot pounds of torque, but I honestly don't know. I've never broken one before. So that's what this video is all about. Before we head out to the bench, let's talk about our setup real quick. I'm gonna be using this torque wrench, which can go from 10 to 80 foot pounds, which is quite a bit higher than my previous torque wrench. I'll be using this quarter inch bit adapter, along with a standard quarter inch hex shank, which is basically just a standard uh, bit that I cut down. Then we'll put the Leatherman bit adapter in like this. That's our setup. Let's go ahead and head out to the workbench and get torquing. Okay, so we're at my workshop. I have the Leatherman bit adapter clamped by the uh, Leatherman adapter portion into the vise pretty securely. Um, I have the torque wrench set to 21 foot-pounds of torque, which is about 250 inch-pounds of torque. Let's go ahead and see how it does. All right, here we go. Okay, so you can see I broke off the tab on the Leatherman bit adapter. It did not exceed the 250 inch-pounds of torque. Keep in mind, though, this Leatherman bit adapter was previously damaged in my last video. So it's fair to say that that's not the maximum capability, but just to demonstrate that the uh, head or cup of the Leatherman bit adapter is stronger than the tab, I thought it was important to uh, go ahead and break it off here. So I'm going to go ahead and reclamp this, and we're going to go ahead and try again at 21 foot-pounds to show that the cup of the uh, bit adapter can handle the 21 foot-pounds of torque before moving up. Here's a quick look at the uh, tab that just broke off. You can see it didn't break off super cleanly. Uh, it's pretty obvious that the tab already had a crack from when I broke the Leatherman bit adapter. Okay, here we go at 21 inch pounds again on the Leatherman cup. All right, just clicked, so that tells us that it can handle 21 inch pounds. Let's go ahead and increase the torque. I meant to say 21 foot pounds there. Okay, I have the torque wrench set for 25 foot pounds or 300 inch pounds. Let's see how we do. I think it'll probably handle this. All right, the torque wrench just clicked, so we know that it can handle 25 foot-pounds. Let's go ahead and increase the torque. Okay, I have the torque wrench set to 30 foot-pounds or 360 inch-pounds. Let's see how we do. Okay, so it's not breaking. I think it's slipping in the vise. I'm gonna have to tighten it up. So as you can see, I was stripping and knurling right off the shank of the uh, Leatherman bit adapter. So 30 foot-pounds is definitely starting to get up there. We're just stripping uh, the metal knurling straight off. So I'm gonna reclamp this and see if we can't get uh, a better bite so we can apply more torque to this setup. Okay, I got this thing in there about as tight as I can get it, so we're gonna go ahead and try 30 foot-pounds or 360 inch-pounds again. We got pressure on it, twisting. All right, the torque wrench just clicked. We're gonna go ahead and increase the torque again. Okay, I have the torque wrench set for 35 foot-pounds, which is 420 inch-pounds. We'll see how we do. All right, torque wrench just clicked again, so we know that this can handle 420 inch-pounds or 35 foot-pounds. Okay, I now have the torque wrench set for 40 foot-pounds or 480 inch-pounds. See how we do. Okay, torque wrench just clicked, so we can handle 480 inch-pounds or 40 foot-pounds. Let's go ahead and increase the torque. Okay, I now have the torque wrench set for 45 foot-pounds or 540 inch-pounds. Let's see how we do. It was worth noting we are now over twice the torque that it required to break off the tab on this bit adapter. 
Okay, torque wrench just clicked. We can handle 45 foot-pounds or 540 inch-pounds. Okay, the torque wrench is now at 50 foot-pounds or 600 inch-pounds. This is more than double what it took to break the Leatherman ratchet. All right, torque wrench just clicked. I am getting some slippage on the shank here. I'm gonna to have to reclamp this into the bench vise somehow. Just so you guys can see the damage on the shaft of this from being twisted into bench vise, you can see we're really digging out quite a bit of uh, metal material. Um, we're deforming the shaft quite a bit with the bench vise uh, clamp, but it hasn't failed yet. I'm pretty impressed. Um, it's, um, this is definitely well beyond what you guys would be doing with the Leatherman uh, tool itself. But let's go ahead and keep increasing and see how we do. I'm gonna move this to the center of the bench vise so I can get a little bit better bite. Okay guys, we have the ratchet set for 60 foot-pounds or 720 inch-pounds. I'm gonna start going up in increments of 10 because we are starting to chew at the shaft a bit and I really wanna see the cup itself break. So 60 foot-pounds, see how we do. Okay guys, the Leatherman shaft is just slipping in there. I need to tighten it up even more. All right, take two at 60 foot-pounds. See what we can do. <clears throat> All right guys, and we just broke it off at 60 foot-pounds of torque. Um, and basically what happened is the end here kept rotating in the vise, and the vise was essentially just chewing away at the shaft, kind of like a, a pipe cutter. It was just kind of going in circles, cutting it down. Let's go ahead and get it out here. As you can see, it broke off pretty cleanly, but if you look at the side, I mean, it's pretty gnarly, guys. We're removing quite a bit of material with the um, bit just twisting against these aggressive teeth within the vise. So uh, at 60 foot pound, I think it's safe to say you're not gonna break your bit adapter uh, at the cup or the shaft. It's gonna be at the end here where the tab is or in the Leatherman adapter itself on your multi-tool. All right, guys, and there you have it. So I just brought the Leatherman bit adapter in from out in the garage. And uh, if you remember, the first test failed between 220 and 250 inch pounds. Um, it was previously damaged before I did this test when I was doing the Leatherman bit adapter test and broke it at 220 inch pounds. So I know that the uh, Leatherman bit adapter when damaged can handle 220 to 250 inch pounds. So that's pretty good. Um, that's more than you know the bit adapter itself, like I said. And then I had a heck of a time breaking off the cup of uh, the Leatherman bit adapter off of the shank. And the reason for that is as after I got to about 50 foot pounds, the shank just started rotating in the vise no matter how tight I got it. And if you look, at the shaft, I mean, it is just gnarled up beyond nothing else. I mean, like right there, I was taking some serious metal off the shaft, just trying to hold it in the bench vise, let alone break it. So it kind of turned into like a pipe cutter where you're just kind of scraping material off the outside until it breaks. And right at about 60 foot pounds or 720 inch pounds, I finally broke off the tip of the uh, cup itself. And um, when it broke, it broke pretty cleanly, just a real clean shear. So uh, I think it's safe to say we just exceeded the um, metal strength itself. It had nothing to do with the design. It's just we're putting a ton of force into a quarter inch diameter shaft. So that's how it broke. And then when I took the cup off and took a look inside, it's uh, really still in pretty good shape. There's a little bit of damage in there, but not bad. And um, I just don't really have a good way to test how much torque that cup can take because as soon as I put this in the bench vise and try to squeeze it down, it's gonna crush that cup down. It's not gonna give a very accurate measure of how much torque it can handle. So if you guys have ever wondered how much torque it takes to break your Leatherman bit adapter or the Leatherman adapter itself, now you know. So about 60 foot pounds to break the cup off the shaft, about 21 foot pounds or 250 inch pounds to break the uh, Leatherman tab off the shaft itself, and about 220 inch pounds to break the Leatherman bit adapter itself. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me break my Leatherman. And if you're interested in the Leatherman ratchet driver and how much force it took to break that and how I did it, or checking out the video where I break the Leatherman adapter itself, I'll put those links in the video description below for you. But at the end of the day, I really think that all these Leatherman products are built beyond what you would reasonably use in day-to-day -day use on your Leatherman tools. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button below. It helps the channel out a lot. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell icon so you're the first to be notified when I release more videos just like this one. Cheers.